Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we successfully done the insert operation and we saved this note into our database. But whenever we want to do some database related operation, we need to do it asynchronously because Room does not allow us to perform the database operation in the main thread. This is because this operation can take a long time and it can block the main thread which leads to a bad user experience. So that is why we need to do this task asynchronously. But right now we are using an async task to do this and whenever we want to do something with our database we need to create a class we need to extend or inherit the async task and we need to do it like this and this is a lengthy and big process but we can use coroutines of kotlin to minimize the asynchronous code so kotlin has coroutines that help us to write asynchronous programs very easily so in this video i will tell you how you can use coroutines instead of this async task now if you don't know about coroutines then don't worry i will create a complete series on coroutines as well very soon so right now let's learn how we can use coroutines to do this asynchronous thing very easily so for now i will delete this save note we don't need it now and i will delete this thing as well so the first thing that we need is we need the coroutines library and we also need the coroutine support of room so we need to add this line into our build.cradle which is app level build.cradle and here i will write this line and then i need the coroutines kotlin coroutines so i will copy it from here and i will paste it here and i will use the version 110 and i guess we have 111 version available so i am using this coroutine version and this is the coroutine support for room now we need to sync our project and then we will use coroutine to perform our asynchronous task and to do this first we will come inside our dao and we will make all the functions suspend now suspend basically means we need to execute or we need to call this function inside a coroutine scope so when a function is suspend we cannot just directly call it but we need a coroutine scope to call this function so all the functions are suspend now uh, come back to your fragment and here instead of this fragment we will extend our own fragment because for all the screens we are going to use fragment and for every fragment we need the coroutine scope so instead of extending or inheriting the coroutine scope in every fragment i will create one fragment where we will write the coroutine things and then we will extend or inherit that fragment in all our fragment class so i am going to create an abstract class into my ui package which is a kotlin class and i will name it base fragment now i will create here an abstract class base fragment and i will extend fragment to this class and i will also extend coroutine scope now inside this class i will define a var which is a private var private late init var and it is a coroutine job now job is a background task in coroutines now we need to override one more thing here which is override val coroutine context and for the getter of this coroutine context i will define the context for our job so in coroutines we have dispatches that defines our threads where we want to execute the job 
so for this i will use the main context which is dispatchers dot main so for this job i am going to use this coroutine context now i will override a function here which is override fun on create and inside this function i will create my job instance and when the fragment is destroyed so for this we will override on destroy function and here we will just cancel the job that's it now we will extend this fragment into all our fragments so for the add note fragment we will extend base fragment and for home fragment as well we will extend base fragment now come to add note fragment and here we can simply write launch and it is the coroutine scope and inside the launch we can perform our insert task and to do this we will do the same thing again we will call node database and for node database we need context so first we will make sure the context is not null with let now here i will write note database and i will pass it because it has the context then we will call get node tau and then add node and then i will pass the node here to save the node and finally we can write toast here for the success message but in this video i will tell you one more thing which is making an extension function for toast to make the toast call easy so inside ui package i will create one more kotlin file and i will name it helpers and here i will create an extension function fun context dot toast and to this toast we will pass a string which is message that we want to display and this function is equals to toast dot make text then this and then message and the length of our toast and then we will display the toast now we just need to call this toast and we need to pass the message that we want to display in our toast and let's see how we do this come inside add note fragment and here we can simply write it which is the context dot toast and we can pass note saved and that's it now our asynchronous call is very much simplified so it is better than before now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not let's add a note my new note task 1 task 2 task 3 so this is my note that i want to save click on this button and you see we got the message note saved so it is working fine so we simplified our asynchronous call in this video with the help of kotlin coroutines so i think that's it for this video friends and in the next video we will learn some more things like fetching the data back from the database using view models to observe the changes and many more things so if you are having any confusions or if you have any question you can leave it in the comments below and if you found this video helpful then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so thank you guys this is bilal khan now signing off